Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. This is Q&A Sunday number eight. Now I get a lot of new subscribers that ask repeat questions. So by doing these Q&As, it's been great because when I get the repeat questions, I will answer them one final time and then I send the people back to the previous episodes. And it's worked out great. Everybody gets answers to their questions and I don't have to keep repeating myself and my subscribers don't have to hear me repeat myself. So this has worked out really good. Okay, question number one. Do I plan to have livestock here at the cabin? As much as I like the idea of having livestock, having a little farm, farm animals. I love the idea, I always have, but it's not a good fit for the lifestyle that we wanna live. Uh, I, we just wanna have some fun. We have got a lot of adventures planned. I wanna spend some time in Maine, visiting friends and family there. And I wanna be able to pick up at any given time, jump in the truck, head to the New York cabin, and spend as much time as I want there, or go climb mountains all over the place, and do whatever I want on spur of the moment. Having farm animals I'm not going to allow us to do that, so I don't. I don't want to do it. Later in life, uh, probably we'll we'll have some animals. I'd like to raise some pigs, and I'm going to answer the beekeeping question right along with this one, because um, on the thumbnail of episode number seven, I had beekeeping on there, but like I said before. We can't upload videos from the cabin, so we have to get on the snowmobile, drive all the way down to where the vehicles are, get in the vehicles, go to town, and go to a Wi-Fi location to do the uploads. Because of that, I, I really can't make the videos very long, and that episode needed to be trimmed back, and the beekeeping got trimmed right off of it, but I forgot to change the thumbnail. So, anyway, in regards to the bees... It's something I find very intriguing. Uh, I will do it at some point in time, but I'm not gonna do it until we have solar here and we can have uh, electric fence around the beehives because the bears come in the yard and trash the bird feeders. I can imagine what they do to the beehives. So I won't be having bees until we have electric fence and I'm not gonna have electric fence until we have solar to keep everything charged. Yeah, but I apologize for the little mishap on the last one. Yeah. Wind power, same deal. Um, do we plan to have wind power? I have a thought about wind power. Again, we're too heavily forested here. Uh, not enough wind comes down into the trees here, but I do have intentions of clearing this open. That's when we have the solar. And I might experiment with wind power at that point in time. Okay, the composting toilet. Lots and lots of questions about the composting toilet. What do I use in it? I use sawdust. Sawdust, one thing when I'm doing the woodworking projects, I have it readily available and it doesn't cost anything. Uh, and even if you don't do woodworking projects, it's pretty easy to find. You can go to a sawmill. Or if you just want to go down to Tractor Supply, you can buy a compressed bale of shavings. You get them on sale for about five bucks and it'll last you a long time. If you do that, get the yellow bale because it's finer shavings. Sawdust works better than shavings because it doesn't have all the air pockets just because it compresses better. Yep. So you just put some in the toilet, you do your business and you cover it over. And then you go and dump it when you feel necessary. Where do I dump it? I have a designated spot in the woods where I dump it. And uh, mostly we use our composting toilet mostly just for pee. Kind of a convenience thing. Get up in the middle of the night or if it's pouring out or if you got the flu and it's pouring out and it's the middle of the night. I don't want to get dressed and have to go out to the outhouse. You know, so I'll just use the composting toilet and I use it kind of like a porta potty. You do your business until it's full and you go dump it, clean it out, back in business. So it works really good and it's very convenient and it's much, much more convenient than those old fashioned chamber pots. Okay, so 
we have the outhouse we use that most of the time but like I said for convenience you can't beat the composting toilet I was told you should have a separate container for poo and one for pee <laughs> people like to complicate everything and I was also told I should have a 12 volt fan in it <laughs> they have me putting fans everywhere I'm telling you I don't know why I should do that because what we do is working really really good and I don't really want to put that much thought into it so what happens if you have a separate container for pee and a separate container for poo what happens if you you poop in a little bit and then now you have the urge to pee do you get up and switch containers and do the pee and then what happens if you got to poop a little bit and then maybe you might have a fart and then you but now you got to pee and then you got to poop I don't want to put that much thought into it I get up in the morning I have a couple cups of Joe and if I have a stack of waffles they call it number two but it might be number three and number four with me so I don't want to do a little dance I don't want to put that much thought into it. I just want to go and sit down with a magazine and let her rip. <laughs> I'm telling it like it is, folks. And that's the way it is here at the cabin. <laughs> All right. Um, next question. Are we going to have a root cellar? Yes, at some point in time. We're going to try and do a little garden here this year. I don't know how well it's going to go because, again, we're still too heavily forested. But over time, we will have some good gardens established. This year, it might just be some little raised beds here and there. Uh, we're going to do the best we can, but I'm not expecting to have any gardens like we had in New York. Not, not yet, but we will. We will get there. And I will have a root cellar. Chances are I'll probably dig something underneath the cabin. And I, but I do have some ideas for that. So I do foresee a root cellar in the future. Have you thought about vertical geothermal heating and cooling? <laughs> I have to say no. I never have because I never heard of it. But now that you mentioned it, it's all I think about. Vertical geothermal heating and cooling. Vertical geothermal heating and cooling. Green light, you know. How long are we going to sit here? Heating and cooling. Vertical geothermal heating and cooling. Vertical geothermal heating and cooling! I can't believe you called me vertical geo thermal it was just a slip of the tongue I was thinking of you the whole time <laughs> all right don't be offended by my answers sometimes these questions just strike a funny bone and I gotta have a bit of fun with it it's just in my nature but I don't try to offend anybody uh, geothermal heating and cooling thing just struck my funny bone okay <laughs> My favorite work gloves. What are my favorite work gloves? Hands down, these are my favorites. Atlas, Thermofit. I have been wearing these gloves for, wow, I don't know, 17, 18 years, somewhere in there. Somebody on a construction crew many years ago had a pair of these, and they're great. Now, they're not a real super warm winter glove, nothing like that, but for working, Somewhere you got to draw the line between insulation and retaining your dexterity. And when I was a carpenter, I could work all day with these here. All right? They're fantastic. You have dexterity. I can shoot a rifle. I can shoot my bow. Get a, some nails out of my pocket with them. I buy them by the dozen. That's the best way to do it. They don't last forever. You work with them. You're going to wear them out, but I buy them by the dozen. They're very affordable, and they are fantastic, and you've seen them in my videos many, many times. Highly recommend them, and the link is down below in the description. So that ought to answer all the questions for now. We're going to wrap it up. hope everyone has a wonderful Sunday.
All the best to you. God bless. Frank and the boss out of walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end, Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss. Frankie and the Boss